What is up you guys? How is it going? It's been like a month since I've been on here. The last time you guys heard from me was 2017. So where have I been? What have I been up to? And how is my weight loss journey going? Well, you'll find out the answers to these questions and more in a few moments. Let's go check it out. up you guys so like I said it's been a little while since I've been on here you know I last said goodbye to you guys I won't say goodbye but I closed out the year with you guys with my final video for 2017 and then a whole month went by and nothing's happened you haven't heard anything you hadn't seen anything from me I've been on YouTube I've been watching YouTube but I haven't really been producing anything for YouTube and there's a simple real easy explanation to this and um, I'm just gonna kind of throw it out there so Basically, um, as many of you have heard me said before, I you know I work a full time job. I uh, I work full time, 40, 45, uh, 50 hours a week, just kind of depending on the week. It's very uh, time and labor intensive job. So um, that takes up a large majority of my schedule. And then on top of that, I also go to school full time, and you know I'm a full time student at university, and. On top of that, I've actually recently just doubled up on all my classes because I'm trying to get done sooner. So before, when I was just taking one class at a time and working full time, I mean, I had more free time. It was, you know, more open for me to do things. But now I have uh, doubled up on that workload. So it's made my life just tremendously more challenging. Not that it's a bad thing because honestly, the aggressiveness that I have going towards these goals are really helping me get closer and closer to my goals. And it's awesome. And it's a lot of hard work and it is a tremendous challenge, but it's worth it and it will pay off in the end. So um, that is kind of what's been going on. I've been working a lot this year and I've really just been, um, you know, in class studying or working on some really challenging homework. And I haven't really had a lot of free time recently to be able to devote to YouTube because a lot of my videos and stuff I do, it's, it's, you know, it's, it's not really full time. It's more of a part time gig. Um, when I have free time, um, I, uh, you know, Mostly, I don't want to spend it, you know, editing and doing things. And don't get me wrong, I love YouTube and I love making videos for you guys. But I'm going to be honest with you, when I have that couple free hours on a weekend, I really just want to take some time to rest and relax. And um, I just needed the time of January to really just kind of unwind, relax. I'm on the last week of a really challenging course. And after that, I'll be taking one class and I'll have a break for a little while. And um, I've really just kind of missed you guys. I've missed the community. I've missed getting to know you guys. I've missed making videos. So I guess in a way this is me kind of saying, hey, I'm back. Watch out for some new content and some awesome things are on the way. I've got a lot of really cool stuff planned out for this year. Um, and not just with my fitness journey stuff. Um, I'm going to do more uh, features where I go off to festivals throughout this state and maybe a couple of neighboring states. I'm going to do a lot of traveling as far as um, just exploring new things that I can. Um, on top of that, I'm going to be doing a lot more Japanese language learning video series where I talk about, you know, easy ways and good ways to learn Japanese. I kind of, my Japanese studies kind of took a back seat for a little while because I, uh, you know, with school and everything, it's just been really overwhelming. Uh, and then on top of that, my fitness journey is still going. And that's what this vlog is all about. This is kind of like my channel update slash my fitness vlog, my first vlog for 2018. All right, so like I said, this is my first fitness vlog for 2018, and so a lot of things have really kind of happened. Um, so rewinding back into 2017, as many of you guys know, it had been kind of a rocky year. Um, I really just kind of, I did really good for a while, and then I fell off around Thanksgiving, got back on again, then I got injured and stopped, got back on again, and then fell apart, and you know, I kind of followed that through into 2018. And then 2018, I kind of realized that I needed to make a new set of goals um, 
you know, I do this every year. They're not resolutions. They're not anything like that. They're just kind of like a set of goals that I like to make every single year. And this year I decided I'm going to work really hard to try to accomplish these goals because in the past I treated them more like resolutions and I didn't really treat them like goals. So this year I really pushed myself to um, set these goals and really go out and just make these goals happen. And uh, one of those that I made for this year was um, make a stronger commitment to my fitness. And in the past, I jumped in pretty hard, pretty aggressive, and did really good for a while, but got burned out because of something, whether it was injury, whether it was something else. And um, it really wasn't until I realized that, uh, and I spoke about this in other videos, that I wasn't letting, you know, my desire for fitness drive me. I was letting outside influences drive me. And I really wasn't obsessed with it. And uh, I had to really spend the past month just kind of changing my mindset completely. Because um, my mindset before was, oh, I want to get in shape. I want to look good. I want to look awesome. I want to... It was all like these vain things. And I mean, and it's hard to do when you're overweight and you want to lose weight. Um, you know, that's hard not to think about the, oh, I'm going to look awesome. I'm going to have washboard abs, right? I want to have huge guns, right? You know, and, and those are benefits and perks to it, right? But that, if that's what's driving you, it's, it's really not going to last. And I learned that. I mean, I was kind of going off and on and off and on, and I kind of lost track of why I was doing this, and I kind of got reminded a little bit. My work requires us to do these biometric screenings, and I went to do mine, and once again, I got a really bad result, and it just kind of reminded me that, hey, you know, I'm on this journey not to, you know, have big guns or to, to look good with my shirt off. I'm on this journey because... I want to be healthy. I want to live for, you know, the next 40 years. I want to have a good, rich life. I want to be able to, uh, you know, just not have anything get in my way. And so that kind of revitalized me. And I started getting obsessed with one of my favorite bodybuilders again and really just kind of paying attention to, to his message. And uh, one of the things he always says is that you have to be obsessed with what you want. And, you know, no, yeah, I want to look good with my shirt off and have muscles and everything. But you know what? It's deeper than that. I want to feel good all the time. I want to be able to take on anything and it not be too much. I'm very, like, I don't want to say I'm an aggressive person, but I love to accomplish goals. And I am absolutely willing to do whatever it takes to get those goals and I reminded myself am I willing to do what it takes to get the body that I want am I willing to do what it takes to have the health that I want am I willing to be obsessed 24 7 with every conscious thought and every fiber of my being drive towards these goals and it really took me a couple weeks of really just kind of battling with my with my diet getting it back on track and reminding myself that, you know, I have to become obsessed with my goals. And finally, I got back into the gym and I'm proud and I'm happy to say for this past week, I have been almost 100% consistent. Uh, my meal has been on, or my meal plan has been on point. My, my activity in the gym has been on point. I've been going to the gym. I've been killing it in the gym. And I've been giving my body the nutrients that it needs. I've been taking supplements. I've been, you know, really just taking good care of my body. And I have to say it's been paying off. Currently, I stand here today at 3.04. And I am, you know, I've got a long, long way to go. And this is the beginning of the year. I've got a long way to go, guys. But you know what? I'm proud of myself because when I started this journey with you guys and I first started this stuff, I was 327. And today I stand here at 304. And I want to celebrate the amount of weight I've lost already. Um, even though it's not a lot, even though I still have a lot to go, um... What I've lost already is fantastic. It's made an impact on my life. It's made an impact on my health. And I cannot wait to keep going because as I continue to move forward, my health will continue to get better. I'll continue to feel better. And I will continue to live a happier and more fulfilled life. So with that being said, you guys, thank you so much for checking out my video and watching my channel and, you know, 
staying connected with my uh, YouTube channel because, you know, like I said, it's been a long time since I've uploaded any new content and it's been a while, but you know, guys, I've missed it. I'm coming back. This is going to be kind of my new thing. I'm really putting a lot of effort into this because this is a hobby I truly enjoy and I've really missed it. So like I said earlier in this video, stay tuned for a bunch of new content. A lot of cool new things are being planned and are on my on the way to you. And like I said, follow along with me in my fitness journey because there's going to be an awesome amount of content coming your way. So like always, thank you so much. You guys rock. And until next time.